outside here for you guys to enjoy. Uh, you got a butterfly here. It is a theater of electricity, it's a dance area. You are an Omni Theater 4D theater. This all does lead us to our ramp to splash in here. You guys all excited to get into the water? of our tour. Uh, I am a licensed captain. I do need to go over a few safety instructions with you guys. Uh, in the highly unlikely event of an emergency, you guys do have life jackets above your heads. Two sizes, over 90 pounds, use the larger adult size life jackets. Under 90 pounds, use the smaller ones. We've got two life rings on board. One right above my head here. You guys, this one's for me, okay? There's also one in the very back, driver's side behind my friends from California. Two fire extinguishers, one here to my right, the other one also in the very back, underneath the last row of seats. We've got emergency exits all around us here. Hello, everybody. Game on! Follow me out of the air conditioner as well, you guys. Uh, now, I am not allowed to stop anywhere in the city for too long. Uh, we don't want to hold up traffic. Uh, you guys, this is the only spot though where I can stop here for as long as you guys want. If you want me to take, if you guys want to take in the scene right here. <laughs> Beautiful area. Uh, this open lot here on your right. Uh, this is actually going to be the Charles River Skate Park. It's going to be the second largest skateboarding park slated to be completed the summer of 2005. <laughs> just a little bit behind me, guys, just a tiny bit. Is this anybody's first duck tour? Sweet guys, it's only my. Oh, we got a duck coming up. Anyways, that's why we ran up the hotel here. Love the anticipation build. We got one duck coming up. So, for how many was this their first duck tour? Sweet guys, it's only my second. Rabies here. What? Experience is overrated, totally. Hello, Rabies. How are you? River into the harbor. 
Now the Charles River here, uh, it starts off in Hopkinton, Massachusetts. Uh, Hopkinton, this is the same place where the Boston Marathon starts. Uh, Boston Marathon being the oldest annual marathon. It's ran since 1897. Uh, and it goes 26.2 miles before ending uh, in Copley Square, in the Back Bay neighborhood. Uh, which I don't know about you guys, I personally get tired of driving 26.2 miles. There is no way this girl's running a marathon here. I'm running on the sidelines, giving them a high five. Uh, the Charles River here starts off in the same place. Uh, however, it is 80 miles long winding its way through over 20 different cities and towns before emptying out into the Atlantic. Uh, the sirens you were hearing there is just the drawbridge that is now up, letting those boats pass out uh, back into the harbor. Uh, this river also does have quite the reputation of being very, very dirty. Uh, I'm sure there's a popular song many of you guys have heard of by a group called the Standells, called Dirty Water. Uh, I will spare you my singing voice. Uh, lyrics of the song are, love that dirty water. Boston, you're my home. You guys, the Standells, not even from Massachusetts. Because they're not even from the East Coast. They're actually from California. Uh, reputation of this river is that Now for years, all sorts of factories here, they were lining the river, emptying out all of their sewage, all of their waste into the Charles. Uh, there was even a paint factory. You could tell what color paint they were making that day by the color of this river. Now thankfully over the years, the Charles River Watershed Association uh, one of the charities we support through our Quack Quack Give Back program. If you guys rounded your purchase to the nearest dollar when you bought your tickets, uh, they have spent years cleaning out this river. Sound my horn real quick here. changes color. Uh, tannic acid vegetation that's popular in New England falls into the water and gives it the color that you see. So it's not only popular in the Charles River, it's all these lakes in the region. Uh, and your biggest indication that it's clean, uh, you finally have wildlife back here. Ducks, geese, cormorants. There's actually fish out here in the Charles River as well. Uh, so come along there as I see a water bottle floating in the Charles. So I'm just going to pretend like I didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that? They're clean. So during the summer, uh, for the most part, the answer is yes. Every once in a while, so every uh, summer, there's uh, the Charles River cleanup boat. They come out here uh, twice a week and they test the water to make sure it's clean. Uh, depending, I feel like going spring going into summer and sometimes summer in the fall, uh, in certain parts of the river there's an algae that kind of forms and they'll say that they don't recommend swimming in it. Uh, it's nothing that would cause any harm or damage to anyone, they'll just kind of say don't go swimming for now. Uh, but for the most part it stays clean throughout the year. Uh, they're in the process of trying to get uh, figure out how to get swimming beaches uh, along the river. They don't want necessarily a beach where you can just jump off of because people jumping into the river kind of turn up the soil underneath. 
uh, make it not as clean. So they're just figuring out a way to do that safely, keep the river clean. Uh, now this river also does act uh, as the city line in between Boston and Cambridge. Uh, so everything on your left hand side here is Boston. Everything on your right hand side is Cambridge. Boston side of the river, you guys are looking at the Esplanade. Kind of garbage over there. Uh, the Esplanade itself, uh, immediately to your left there, you're looking at baseball, soccer fields. Uh, but you've also got playgrounds, uh, tennis courts, running, walking, biking trails. Uh, a little bit further up on the Esplanade is where you find the hat shell. Every 4th of July, it's where the Boston Pops, Boston Symphony Orchestra perform. Uh, there's festivals and other concerts there throughout the year. Uh, and you'll see once we get to the other side of the Longfellow here, uh, there are quite a few sailboats out here on the Charles. Uh, a lot of the sailboats uh, are part of community boating. It's a boathouse we'll also see there. Uh, community boating uh, opened up in the 1950s with a program for all kids from the ages of 10 through 18 uh, that they could go to community boating, learn how to sail, windsurf, kayak uh, all season long. Uh, and most of those kids will only pay one dollar for the entire year. Uh, it's just a program getting kids off the streets here, coming and learning new skills. Uh, adults can get mem memberships, they're also very, very affordable. Uh, and any of you guys that just wanted to go there for an afternoon, come out here and enjoy the Charles, you can rent them out as well. Uh, the Longfellow Bridge here, uh, it was built in 1907. Uh, it is undergoing a huge restoration project, so you see quite a bit going on as we uh, head underneath it and on the other side of the bridge. Uh, but as we get closer here, if you guys look to your left hand side, uh, you guys will see the gold dome of the State House. That was the very top of Beacon Hill, where we were not too long ago. Uh, the dome originally made out of wood. Uh, it is currently gilded with 13 of 23 karat gold leaf. Uh, it was last regilded in 1997. Uh, it's worth about $300,000 worth of gold up there. Does anybody want to join up with me a little bit later? Ship a little bit off. You see, uh, on either side of us, very center columns of the Longfellow. You have Viking ships carved into it. Uh, when it was built in 1907, they thought Vikings were the very first to charter these waters. There's no proof of that. But once they're up, they're kind of hard to take down. Parker, game on! Uh, this is what I like to call my office. Very beautiful office view here. I'll make a little loop around. Uh, now everything in front of us is the Back Bay neighborhood. Now there's a brown church steeple up ahead on the left. That's about where the original shoreline of Boston was located. So starting out about that brown church steeple, going all the way down to the bridge to your right, the Massachusetts Avenue Bridge, uh, that's all the landfill project that would create the Back Bay neighborhood. We'll see most of it here in the bigger loop around. What was that? Yeah, that was also, that, uh, that was about the sh uh, original shoreline. 